Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the adventures of Carlos de Silva, another Diaries of Death permadeath run with a stealth-based character who has joined the Thieves Guild. And uh, before we join today's adventure, I would actually like to do some preparation. We need to upgrade our gear, get some more magic resistance, and I would like to showcase um, how to join the Dark Brotherhood because we need also some armor upgrade. And then we're ready for more content. Before we start today's adventures, I figured I'll show you a bit of my preparation. Uh, typically I don't show that on screen, but uh, we are weak on magic resistance. So we're spending all of our hard earned uh, gold on a new necklace 9000 9, is not cheap but it is wor well worth it as we now have a necklace of dwindling magic yes, that yes, brings our magic resistance to a whooping 17 16 of which come uh, from uh, that it's almost like 20 percent less damage so we'll start there additionally i crafted yet again a few more um, poisons uh, in case you're wondering I'm currently in Markarth in the under keep and Calcemo here has the has always has in with F tweaks uh, the MR necklace. Good. But we are planning a murder, guys. That's what's happen uh, that's what will happen next. You might ask yourself why am I in that uh, pantries here and eating away the uh, infamous cheese? Well, or killing no one else but Grella, yes, Grella. the very unkind. This place is filthy. I have a mind to cancel all town privileges unless those brats start pulling their weight. Okay, okay, I'll deal with it. Good, let's wait an hour. And where's Grella, by the way? Still you over there. Be here. All right, kids. What's about to go down is not for your eyes. Thank you, Grelok. No idea who uh, who just killed her. Hey, watch it. Yep, Com it's a complete mystery how she fell into my dagger. Good. Well, now that that is uh, out of the way, I think. We can take a little nap time and should be immediately uh, dragged into the Dark Brotherhood. Let me do that. All right, change of plans. We've been interrupted whilst we were sleeping by these guys. I assume it is because we have killed someone. Need a little bit of kiting room here. Wasn't really planning to fight anyone. Finally! Our fear spell works. Albeit just shortly. these guys do have heavy armor so we're not dealing a lot of damage against them Ah, 
Yeah, not good. We ran out of stamina. Hard thugs. Those are some exceptionally well made uh, items. I think we can use that. And by use, I mean sell that okay they were definitely well equipped and if you look at the contract it says here's the agreed upon amount I expect you to faithfully carry out the request uh, to teach a lesson to the thief Carlos de Silva. Well, they did not teach us a lesson. Um, quite the opposite. They've been schooled. Good. Back to the sleeping part, which I wanted to do initially. And guess what? It happened. We are now joining the Dark Brotherhood. After a little bit of sleeping, we're prompted with Sleep that scene. Way. I'll fast matter? forward it and oh, uh, we're actually going to you see, join the Dark Brotherhood a uh, to get a set of well, armor. If you turn around. Good, so as you can see, we've made our way to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary which offers a nice set of new uh, clothes for us. Number one, we do have a shrouded hood or a shrouded coil, uh, cowl, no coil, I think it is. Increased damage dealt with ranged weapons would be more for the kind of sniper uh, assassin. Whilst, and I would say we're keeping that to a degree but I like this one better. Offers us no armor, though. Hmm, that's a bit of a problem. But sneaking improved by 28% is nothing to uh, scoff at. This here would be the caster version of the Shrouded Robes. Illusion uh, spells 15% cheaper. Armor penetration and inaudible shoes. I think. I will see whether or not I find an evasion based set as well. We'll get that in a second. Good, and matter of fact, I was just one conversation away from the actual armor. There are a couple of uh, good items though that I like. So we do have a shouted uh, shard call here. One that's a little bit heavier, but increases the damage much more. We definitely got armor penetrating weapons, that's good. It's an upgrade from our lock picking, so we'll take that. Stamina 30% uh, versus being completely inaudible. And I think we're, we'll keep both of the shoes, but those would be the standard ones that I'd be wearing. Poison resistance 50%, stamina 30, health and sneaking is improved. That is just fantastic. And I almost like the sneaking part, but we need like armor as well. So I'll think about it. I'm gravitating slightly to the uh, lesser weight uh, one. 3% uh, range damage dealt is not the end of the world. So we'll keep those items around. Um, with that, endeavors should be like really, really, really stealthy. 
but we're also really really overloaded okay cool so got our armor let me set up weapon groups and uh, and a script to switch the armor in uh, when combat begins and then we'll off uh, we're off to our actual first mission all right so weapon groups are set up essentially we do have a combat group and we do have a sneaking related group uh, in the sneaking related group all of the equipment automatically will be switched in so we're down to 180 armor and when we're then fighting we're up to 400 armor which is quite good uh, by reading skill books i also leveled up i figured might as well be worth looking into it we need more illusions so i'll save the perk here the other the other perk that i would want to do is the anatomy one and anatomic lore but that'll take some more time once we're at it uh, might as well just use what we have gotten so far as a preparation so let's do illusion up to 25 and then sneaking as indicated needs to increase sneaking is up to 42 that's not yet quite where we want it to be stamina is fine but we can invest one perk into the illusion tree and that gives us blur huge advantage and invisibility muffle is great as well holy there are a couple of really good spells maybe i can get my hand and hibernating touch isn't bad either it's a huge level for us good a couple of uh, buffs as we are progressing and now it is finally time to test all of our new tools so I figured before we're doing anything else, let's get a horse and which better way uh, to get one than to steal frost. I know it's a bit of a meme because all of the good starting items are here in Rift and well, what are you supposed to do if the game offers so many options. So we can make ourselves invisible now. And that will last as long as we are actually sneaking. Gosh, we're slow. We will need to invest in that. Don't want to make it a punishing gameplay for you guys to just see someone like very slowly moving towards the target. And I quite frankly don't want to use that much time either. But I want to double check that it actually works for once with our own resources not with a potion don't move do, do not move dude all right works like a charm off into our combat gear You know what? It actually works incredibly well. And with a poison on top, it works even better. <laughs> the fear into hitting him from behind i think we can work on that unfortunately they are running quite fast and our range is very very limited our reach rather in this case but the first kill actually worked reasonably well i got this nice little shrouded setup where I'm 
uh, changing to the uh, to the casting the casting roll looks very very good by the way and that increases mana regeneration and a couple of other uh, things and makes our casting cheaper so I have to wonder is there someone up here or did we just kill the last person yep we killed the last one the problem with our invisibility at the moment is since we have not yet perked uh, the extra illusion perk to move at normal speed whilst invisible it's all very slow so I won't be doing that like the majority of the time but I would like to actually try out to invade for once and not just like charge in uh, opening a door apparently breaks it as well that's not good Well, so much for that. I tried it the nice and quiet way. But as per the usual, it ends up with a massive test of uh, blades. Not enough time to get into that. They all power continuously power attacks. There, it's not much I can do in order to get in. What? 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 What is happening? Who are you? But a random jeep is joining in the middle of the road. Nothing but fists, and why? What? What is happening? The rest of the fight was clean. We evaded at the right times. <laughs> no! Yes. Alright. Yeah, overall interesting how much of a difference the poison starts to make uh, with the higher alchemy rings. It finally starts to pay off. You can definitely see a massive difference between me attacking with just a dwarven dagger and me attacking with the poison on top of it. Okay, let's get the horse and get to the extraction point go to the chopper as arnie would say i'll get that one we'll see each other at the location good we got 
frost and we're jumping right into the next action i figured we'll do something different and do snap like cave something that i typically wouldn't do that early because we're fighting against casters however we have uh, some magic resistance i got an mmr potion so we should be fine and it contains a lot of spiders which in return will fuel my ever so encumbrant need for uh, poisons good first things first invisibility okay that did not work as intended let's try again now is a good time to poison the weapon if it hasn't already been poisoned there are two hacks at the beginning and one further down in the dungeon and these are the type of battles where you want to kill them fast and without uh, provoking too much of a retaliation. Is that spider still alive? Oh, it sure is. Well, we'll take a bow. Take care of the spider in a bit. For now, what matters is not getting hit by the witches. different arrows so we need really punchy ones oh arrows are good against slightly armored targets There's the second caster. Just need to hit them and let the poison do its thing. They hit very hard. If they hit us, that is. Nice. Okay, much better now that the guys that can actually deal a lot of damage are out of the way. It's quote unquote only that huge spider.
So we can apply a lot of poison to it. And it will tick down. Potentially not with the silver arrows. Not having a lot of arrows left though. Time to regain all of our stats. Stupid poison. Says the guy who uses poison in order to get that spider down. Should die. There we go. Wow, the poison is definitely ticking nicely on that uh, huge spider. Did I just find the staff of paralysis? Really? Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, game. Thank you. There are far more spiders to take care of. And this one here is dangerous. Yep. like fighting all of them there. That's also not optimal here. Maybe we'll we're just going to bite the bullet and fight them in these tunnels. They don't seem to follow us. We do have a bit of poison resistance to our new armor. So at, at least the poison from these lower level spiders isn't as oppressive anymore. fix something. Um, I would like our outer loot to actually gather alchemical ingredients. That way I don't need to open all of the corpses.
Just need to be careful not to get hit too often. With our poison resistance, we're doing reasonably well against these guys. Okay, well, that's a good start. Trying to save uh, the potions a bit. get rid of this and we're almost overweight that's never good there's another little secret chest here Okay, now it's a matter of just preserving our potions. I'll go back, uh, pop a healing paltrus, sleep it out, and come. There, there was a bed here, so let me do that. Okay, there was no bed, but we were able to just recover in time. Waited for a bit. So. Less problematic than I thought it would uh, be. It's actually exactly as problematic as I thought it would be. <laughs> I completely missed the fact that there were two more. Just waiting next door. Yeah, we're not going to toy with that. Uh, with that. No matter what the game wants to tell you, these uh, things are dangerous, and the hex most certainly haven't just managed to trap that because they were so much more powerful. Mm -mm. Not the case. Poison of Paralysis, that's good. And here's the big fat payout. I'll come back for that one specifically. I'll come back for that one specifically. We'll get a master key and open it. And I need to sell anyways. So, a bit of shopping now. So, just wanted to share that nice find with you here into town and we got a ring of major illusions which is great uh, that'll help us uh, casting some of our buffs I'll put that into our um, casting routine making it uh, easier for us to uh, cast all of uh, the buffs additionally we got some leveling skills illusion is fine for now I really want sneaking to hit that level 50. OK, 
Okay, and our extra perk here. That would be required. Invisibility and blur empowered means that they would stay on even if we're if we're moving a bit faster. So that is something uh, that we should go for as well. 35 illusion. I'll just save the perks for now. With the exception of one. I think we can still improve our stealth. Very good. All right, we do have two more dungeons on our list for today. Dungeon number one will be the abandoned prison in the middle of Skyrim. And that's an interesting one because that is the prison that you would need to flee if you were to start in the cell of the new uh, life mod. It is actually a small but uh, equally interesting dungeon where a couple of prisoners have drowned or were left to drown and they a little revolt against the guards let me fix something real quick good we're back so I brought my silver dagger with me because it's the first time that we're fighting non-living creatures luckily for us This dungeon here mostly consists or exclusively consists out of ghosts uh, who tend to hit not as hard as drawers do. So we're in that nice transition stage where if you know where you're going, uh, you can get some good loot items, but it requires a little bit of preparation. Good, we're taking this year old soup. These here are the guard orders. Basically, let the guys drown. And downstairs we will find the other orders or the other document indicating that the prisoners uh, were planning a revolt. Look at you. Van Bos has already aggroed. I wonder. I would be potentially cheesing if I was to fight him through there. Okay. I got my blast dagger here, which will let undeads flee. And the idea is. You can never To hit these ghosts with um, our silver dagger after we have hit uh, hidden them once with our blast dagger so blast dagger essentially is a setup and then we're finishing them with a normal dagger so there here is the prisoner plan basically indicating that they wanted to flee all along there is a key to the place right here this cell for those of you who have an alternative uh, life start mod should look incredibly familiar because it basically in is the starting cell that you're starting with and this here is the area minus the ghosts that you typically have to flee from Death comes for you now. Eternal slumber awaits. Oh shit. Gotta be careful not to run past uh, him. I don't know why we're auto-looting all of his stuff. That is so annoying. 
Only happens with ghosts. I don't know what it is. Okay, so we're going to get the last bit of loot out of here. Very good. I think that was pretty much it. There's still a skill book, right? Yeah, two-handed, okay. And that's <laughs> the weakest master chest loot that I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Time to end your foolish array. Good. One more visit here. And as always, we're looting everything. Don't want the sword. Don't want his armor. Thank you, but no thank you. Okay, cool. So, short interlude, small dungeon. I think that was fun. And we got quite a bit of loot out of it, actually. Off to the next one. Next up, last dungeon for this episode. We are at Lost Knife Hideout. Or Lost Knife Cave. Which is another interesting dungeon, one that I haven't uh, been showing on the channel all too much. Time for invisibility. And I'll fast forward that move. Look. What's that supposed to do? Get back on patrol. Time to kill one of these fools. The archer in particular. That was a good start. Not quite fully silent, but we're getting there. Sure have mercy on you. Not your best, huh? Good. We got the key and steel dagger of fatigue. That might be of interest for us. Whilst we're in here, by the way, let's get our potion of regeneration going. Okay, another slow montage. Almost there. The other guy went downstairs. That helped us. And this here should be a clean kill. Oh, 
Of course, we are being spotted out shortly afterwards. And we're being shot at. I don't like that at all. Good, we're getting the first kill, which isn't too bad. Like, that's actually quite valuable. But we're not fast enough yet to really follow up. Gotta get Blur back up. And we do have archers up there, so... Really can't hide anymore for now. Got another challenger coming our way. Oh, heavy armor, bandit. And a perked one. Oh, he he hits fast. Oh. And hard. Careful with this guy. He's potentially the most dangerous opponent that we have. Oh well. Okay, the fear seems to work reasonably well. The poisoning not so much yet. Okay, so the fear actually did the trick because he was giving us a really hard time. Awesome equipment, by the way. This is more a normal bandit. Two hits and we're still okay. <laughs> oh, the poison takes down. Nice. Quick in, quick out. That's the way of the assassin. And the bad lover. Alright, bring it on, buddy. Yeah, the Argonian is almost immune to poison. The archer has a couple of arrows for us. That's not bad because we are in dire need of arrows. 
And we're also in dire need of buffs. I like the cave. No, 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 didn't want to go there. We'll get there in a second. honestly thought there would be a little bit more loot than just that. I remembered that this room had quite a bit of loot in it. Yeah, ah, well, an inside potion at least. See me? No, I heard something. <laughs> For once, we actually made a nice impact. And for once, we need to move out. Okay, I think they will not follow us because uh, this is one of the iterations where they don't, but I'm not 100% sure. No, I was right, they spawn at the other side. fight is always a bit iffy. But we killed one of them right away, which was a huge win. Okay, we'll we'll go back in and just try it again. Still not sure if those two guys will not come back to haunt us. Maybe it was a suboptimal idea to actually leave them behind. I'll take my time to give them the opportunity to come back. Solid kill. Three hundred percent damage against sleeping targets. Get that apprentice uh, lock open.
Gotta love this mini game. All of that for 60 gold. Yay. Okay, the two guards that just went out. Not sure if they are immediately coming back or only when they hear the noise of combat. Oh, they are down there. Look at that. Okay, three of them even. They still seem to be looking for me. Whom do I kill? I guess the guy with the crossbow. Or the two-handed bandit. They lost my trail. Okay, two down, one more to go. Nicely into that. Remind me of my cousin's cat. Kill that too. He must have been perked, he was hitting quite fast. Good, so next up we have another big fight ahead of us. cave here. Let's see if we can get one or two kills without being spotted out. Surprisingly enough, I'm not really seeing someone other than the boss. Oh, look at that. We have a couple of sleeping bandits. Well, 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 well. Isn't that unfortunate? I'm starting to like uh, that sneaky gameplay. 
Wait, what? You're dead already? Okay, apparently someone is uh, very much seeing through our illusions. We need poison against this guy. Wow, that was a nice power attack. Tracked us. Although I tried to evade. Uh, there is another ranged attacker. Purify undead, that might come in handy later. Potion of healing. Warhammer and of inevitation. True potential only unlocks if you're drunk. Well, that's not the type of character that we're playing. But an interesting enchantment nonetheless. Good, we certainly have quite a bit of loot to go through, or potential loot. Boss chest here. Fortify health. Another cave key. Yes, yes. Honey brumette, no, we don't need that, but I'm taking the rest. Or so I thought. Mage armor on ourselves might be coming in handy once in a while. Really need to buff up. And I think we could have even sneak attacked a few more. 
and killed most of them completely silently, but we're not quite there yet. Okay, well, we're detected. Game's, game's over. We need to get... to this guy here. Yeah, we're unfortunately heavily overloaded. of invisibility will suit as well and that's the end of uh, this cave let's use all of our remaining insights we're going to sneak 50 yes please before then going to illusion 35 I would, as an exception, use greater points there. And let's level up. We need more health. We finally get uh, the anatomic lore. Sneak attacks with melee weapons deal five times damage to any human-like creature uh, that is not immune to sneak attacks and two times damage uh, with a bow so this is fantastic light steps we don't need that yet instead what i would want to do is going to illusion and doing the visual manipulation because we can now empower that so let's double check whether or not that's actually going to help us good first of all blur empowered very good because we can cast it makes sense and lasts longer that in itself is already a quality of life improvement. Secondly, and that's the more important one. We can empower invisibility. And it stays online when we're normally moving. That is, that is huge because now we do have a realistic chance of uh, carefully moving in the build becomes more and more online and this is also a much more bearable speed to watch instead of me just very slowly grinding through it good we clearly can't loot can't do any of the other stuff but yeah that's it we are now officially a stealth assassin very nice um, next major milestones for us uh, would be to first of all get a better dagger I don't think that ours is perfect we can uh, upgrade it Nesobane is an option there are a couple of other glass daggers lying around that would be an option so just getting a better weapon for now would be helpful and then we can slowly but surely uh, start more difficult content. I will definitely do uh, one more episode where we're killing some bandits at least because now we can finally finish them off and uh, do a stealth 
uh, an actual stealth build. You know what? We're actually going to do uh, the Thieves Guild quest next, so that should be the perfect, uh, the perfect opportunity. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, if you very stealthily sneak to that like button and uh, backstep it, it might turn thumbs up. Just saying, you might want to try that. See you in two days. Bye-bye.